These flies pictured here have normal wild type eyes. These flies pictured here have the bar eye. It is a mutant phenotype. Now there are many mutations which cause an abnormal phenotype because of something abnormal in the proteins which say function in the eye. This is different, however. The bar gene does not code for a protein which exists in the adult eye, nor does it code for something needed for the function of the adult eye. Instead, it codes for a transcription factor which is active early in development. This means that as the Drosophila embryos cells are forming, they need to be told their identity. They need to be told whether they are in the front or back of the body, top or bottom, forming leg or arm, etc. And this bar gene is involved in the formation of the eye. So it is a homeodomain and a transcription factor, a protein which binds to DNA to help give cells an identity. As such, it is a, quote, master switch, a gene which helps tell cells who they are and what proteins they need to make. Not only is it fascinating uh, to learn about these master switch transcription factors, such as the homeodomains, because humans also have those, Humans share many of these master switches with invertebrates, so humans have a homologue of the bar gene as well. The reason for this is that before the ancestor of humans and flies separated, their common ancestor had primitive eyes, and a bar-like ancestral gene was used by these ancestors to designate where the eyes should be formed. So humans and flies, even though their eyes are very, very different, both share some of the same developmental genes for eye formation, having inherited uh, versions of this from their last common ancestor.